What's going on guys? In this video we will be going over another cool recursive function. Uh, this time, this recursive function will take a string and then return the reverse order of the string. So this is just reversing the contents of a string but we're going to be using recursion. As you can see I've already laid out the function so all we're going to do is just go over it line by line and see what's going on and how this recursive function or how this function is actually reversing the string. All right, so let's uh, put this function into action. Okay, I will, uh, of course, first you have to run the function. I will run this cell, and now let's reverse something like Python. And let's see what the outcome is. And as you can see, it reverses the string. So if you have something like, I don't know, hello, it returns uh, the string reversed. Okay. So let's break down exactly what's going on. It's a very simple recursive function, but it's pretty cool. So I, I thought we would go over it. Okay. We put in a string. The name of the function is reverse, and we put in a string. So if the string is empty, we return the string. Else, we return reverse of the string. So here's the recursive part. String. We're slicing the string. Uh, so we're slicing the string from the uh, first index all the way to the last. So we're skipping the, the zeroth index. So let's see. So if we had something like reverse hello, the return statement would return, let's see, reverse hello plus h. So this h is actually part of the first recursive layer. What makes this function, this recursive function, pretty cool is that we're actually utilizing the uh, recursive function's output. If you recall from our previous uh, recursive function videos, there's sort of uh, layers. So the first layer is always sort of the last to return, and it's the last layers that are going to be outputted first. So in this case, what we're doing is uh, this H, since it's part of the first layer, it's going to be returned last. So this LO is going to be called, and it goes, if it's string, return string, else, so this LO is going to call reverse from string string of index 1 all the way to the end so we skip the first index so it's going to return l0 plus e every recursion is pulling out letter so the the outcome of this reverse hold out let's pull out the h so the outcome of this reverse hello is going to be this is this whole thing now we need to get the outcome of this, so let's pull that out, is going to be L O. remember we're getting uh, LO, because we're going to pull out the first letter, plus L, and now, so the outcome of this thing is going to be this, and now the outcome of reverse L, I mean, the outcome of reverse this is just this plus, uh, oh, what am I doing? Uh, oh, okay, oh. So the outcome is just going to be this, and now the outcome of reverse O, I don't know why I put zero here, but O, uh, once again I did zero, O, the reverse of O, the outcome of reverse O, is just going to be an empty string plus O. Oh, uh, here we go. O. Oh. Reverse and empty string. Reverse and empty string. So the outcome of reverse O is just going to be a reverse empty string and the output of O. So now we sort of have to go back each layer. So this this returns an empty string. So this is nothing. So the output of this is actually nothing. So let's just get rid of that. We put nothing. Uh, nothing. So the so this the, the output of reverse uh, O is just an empty string in O. So this can be replaced by O. So this will be replaced by O. Uh, cut. Okay. O. Now this thing can be replaced. Get rid of this, and it will be replaced by this. Cut paste now this whole thing cut 
will take on this value OLLE and now this thing cut will be replaced by this thing so this is how we get a reverse string and just for a sort of the same I'm going to just add uh, make this H look like this okay so this is how we get the output of a reverse string so these are the results of all the previous recursive calls and then plus string uh, string 0 so in this case it's just H and that's why we get the solution as a, a reverse string so hopefully you guys have an understanding of how this uh, recursive function works and uh, hopefully you guys thought it was pretty interesting I, I thought it was interesting um, I, I just thought it was very clever how the you can use a simple recursive function to, to print out text reversed. You know, it's a very simple function, uh, very compact, not too many lines. So yeah, so that's it for today. Um, I will see you guys next time.